Well, good morning. Good morning from New Zealand. Thanks for joining me again. Thank you so much. Um, really appreciate the uh, the honour of your presence again. Um, so today I'm, I'm shooting film again today. I'm back on some film. I have got a roll of Kodak T-Max 400. And I'm going to put that through my medium format camera. I've got a uh, Mami R 645E. Um, this is actually my second roll of film through this camera. So if you want to check out the first roll, go and check out this video which will be... Uh, coming up here I think, It'll be a little link or here or here, wherever it'll pop down. Go and check out that video a bit later or, you know, watch this video first though. So um, yeah, we're just here, we're on the opposite side of Port Waikato, Port Waikato's over there, I'm on this side of the river, um, as usual backing onto the uh, Waiuku Forest, it's a place I spend a lot of time photographing, um, nice and convenient, five minutes from home. So we're going to walk along here to, this morning, um, take some shots, specifically some long exposure shots. And right now, actually, I've got a shot. I think it's been my first shot. It's uh, looking over to the other side, over to the dunes over there at Port Waikato. So I'm going to do a shot over this water here, and um, that'll be my first shot. So let's get into it. First shot, I was going to do long exposure, but I'm actually going to do two shots here. I'm going to do one of a normal uh, face exposure because the reason why I've got really nice ripples in this water. I took a photo oh, a month or two ago and um, really liked the aesthetic of it. I like the aesthetic of the water. I've got a similar aesthetic here, I've got a similar, a similar kind of a look. I've got these really nice ripples coming across the water here, remembering that it's in black and white as well, so it's going to give me nice. A nice contrasty looking shot and the difference of this shot is that I've actually got in the background I've got the, um, the dunes over there so I think this will make a really nice shot if it turns out so I'm going to take a shot a normal exposure shot first and then I'm going to do a long exposure of a similar shot and then we're just going to obviously get the the effect because I have got movement in the water here I want to I want a, this misty silky misty effect as possible on the second shot which will be the long exposure shot Get, take those two shots. about New Zealand is that the weather is very, it's very changeable here. Um, so what started out being a 
quite nice morning. It's um, possibly turning into a bit of a rainy morning. Um, I'm just um, looking out towards the Tasman there, and there is a, a front there that's moving across. Um, looks like the tail of a storm or something. But I think we, it might actually miss us. It seems to be blowing across this way. Um, so we might be okay. Um, I've got a scene here that I want to do a long exposure on. So again, the main reason for coming out today is to do long exposures. So again, just going over my, my philosophy with black and white, really what I'm looking for is, I guess, the thing you have to think about with black and white, it's very important, is that when you lose colour, you lose separation. You lose separation of contrast. Um, with colour, you can define things a lot more. Black and white, obviously you can take black and white photographs of anything, but for me, if I want to create something that has impact, um, what I like to try and do is keep the picture very simple. And I've kind of got a picture here that, that kind of echoes that. Um, there isn't a great deal of contrast, that's the only thing. But what I've essentially got, I've got the shoreline here. Um, and and it basically it's leading around and it, and it leads over to, we've got the the forest over there, we've got those hills. So it kind of leads into that. And then we've got those hills, or the, 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 the line of the trees of the forest over there, is showing nice contrast against the, against the, um, against the sky so it has it has the makings of a reasonably good picture um, whether or not I can I can I can capture that the way I want to is another thing and obviously you know what's gonna what's gonna create more contrast is the by doing a long exposure I'm gonna flatten out this water hopefully gain a nice white clean flat look which will accentuate the um, accentuate this line here that, that follows in through to the hills here. So we're going to set up for this shot and um, and have a crack at a long exposure here. Very cold at the moment, so better keep moving. Just at the end of the beach here, there's uh, there's like a, um, I guess it's like a delta that sticks out, which blocks you access to the rest of the beach. But on top of this hill here, there's uh, two two trees, uh, two naked trees, just sitting um, sitting there on the hill, and they're just beautifully silhouetted against the uh, skyline there. So I'm going to set up a shot of here and take a shot of that because I think it's quite uh, quite cool. So the idea is just a very minimal shot of the, uh, the line of the hill, and then the tree just silhouetted nicely against the sky. Should be cool, I'm gonna take it.
quite a nice little scene here. Um, it's really, really simple. Um, and what I've got is I've just got this. There's a there's a point that's coming out here. I've got a rock in the water, and then I've got the the water flowing past it. And I just kind of got this idea of doing like a like a very minimal abstract type kind of picture. The um, if we look at the the um, this rock here, um, the way that it basically goes down here like this creates a nice silhouette against the, the ocean and the, and the sky. So I'm um, going to take a shot or two of this, long exposures again I think. So this, this water just glassed over so it just leaves me with a, a nice uh, defined silhouette of that that shape there in, in, in the rock. So uh, I'm going to get set up for that and we're going to take that picture. Well that's a wrap for me, I think uh, my role's finished and uh, time to head back to Valop so uh, hopefully you enjoyed the trip, hopefully you've enjoyed the pictures, um, I had a great day, um, sun's out again, beautifully sunny again and uh, it's ended up being a beautiful day, so um, yeah uh, that's it, um, please if you guys haven't subscribed yet please do so I'd really appreciate it, hit the subscribe button below and um, subscribe to the channel and you can keep up to date with everything that's coming out on a regular basis um, also my Instagram feed as usual you know the usual blurb um, check out my Instagram feed um, please go and check that out and uh, give me a follow I'd really appreciate it um, I've set up a Facebook page for this vlog specific and uh, the idea is, is that uh, any, any updates about the vlog will come up on that page um, there might be some behind the scenes stuff and uh, just some bit, extra bits and pieces I want to try and keep my two Facebook pages separate, the blog page and my normal photography page separate, so that's the reason I set up a, a separate page for the blog. Uh, and if you want to go and check out my normal photography page, uh, Facebook page, there's also a link below for that as well. Uh, check both those links out below. Um, the images, the pictures from this episode will be on my website. Um, I'll publish those on my website on the vlog page. I'll put a link below for my vlog website page. Go and check that out. And while you're on my website, go and check out the rest of my work. Um, also, subscribe to my mailing list. Um, that would be awesome as well. Um, I think that's a wrap. That's it. Um, next episode, we've got something a little bit different. We're going to be staying in the office, and I'm going to take you through. Um, I'm going to take you through how I've edited some of these pictures. Um, I've had a lot of people inquire um, and want me to make a video um, around the idea of what I, how I process black and white film. Um, so I'm going to do that next episode. We're going to take. Um, I'm going to take this roll of film that I shot today and I'm just going to pull a few um, pictures off it and uh, basically take you through the whole process um, from d my development process um, to um, the post processing side of things uh, in Lightroom. So that's coming up next time. So come back again next time and you'll check that out and um, yeah, I'd appreciate it. So um, you better take care. Um, come back again uh, and until next time. Hariraa from New Zealand. Goodbye. Thank you.